Hi and thanks for watching. Can't believe it's nearly Christmas. What a fantastic year Pulse has had and I just want to fill you in a little bit. So at the moment Pulse is myself and Amy. We also have Jo, our communications manager. She does a great job in communicating with loads and loads of different people about the missions that we do. She also does the e-bulletin every month which I hope you get and uh, read and pray for us. She's actually off on maternity leave at the moment. She's uh, expecting a baby tomorrow, so we do pray for her and Steve, her husband, and Ben, their son. We also have Emma. Now, Emma is our 1010 coordinator. 1010 is fantastic. It's a website dedicated to the gospel. And we know that uh, Emma's been doing a great job organizing a lot of those flash mobs and many other things, so watch this space on that. We also have Jodie. Jodie is a year-long intern this year and she's doing a great job. She's only been with us just over a month, um, but she's really settling in well. She's uh, fantastic at making tea and uh, we love her to bits already. So thanks Jodie for coming from Nottingham and thanks Nottingham for lending her to us. One of the events this year we did was Fast Forward. Fast Forward was our third year celebration. It was a fantastic event. We, we literally were holding the tears back uh, throughout the day, uh, let alone just the evening. We launched our new vision at that point. Our new vision is to reach 32,000 people with the gospel and at the same time increase our team to 10 and all of those within five years. That's a fantastic vision to have and to be honest it scares me but it also excites me so much because I want to see the Kingdom of God enlarged and equipped. Now to reach 32,000 people with the gospel in five years we worked out that on average we'd have to reach nearly 18 people per day. At the moment since fast forward we've been smashing that. We've been getting 42 people on average per day. Now that doesn't mean that every single day we've run out and found 42 people. It just means that on average we've been reaching that many people. So a few exciting stories about Pulse, about what God has done through this year. I want to start off with a, a story of a youth weekend away where there was, uh, the gospel was proclaimed. Fantastic time with these young people. Um, when the gospel was proclaimed, some of the kids actually walked out because they didn't want to hear what we were saying. That's absolutely fine, we get it all over the place. But there was one lad, and when we had this time of worship afterwards, he buried his head in a beanbag. He got on his knees, he buried his face. After a while I went up to him and said, are you okay? And he looked up at me, he had tears streaming down his face, and he said, I've met Jesus for the very first time. Now, I don't know about you, but that excites me so much. That's what it's all about. Uh, a holiday club. We, uh, we, we've done many holiday clubs this year. This, the theme has been fantastic about um, getting to know God, getting to know that great news of Jesus, and then spreading the great news of Jesus. Now, some of these children have taken that on board, and it's been incredible to watch. Children going back to their teachers and saying, do you know Jesus? When the teacher said no, they said, well, you should do. You should get to know him. Fantastic, isn't it? Now off the back of some of those holiday clubs, we've heard many stories of people going on Alpha courses and finally giving their lives to Christ at those Alpha courses. So fantastic news for that as well. The van, it's done 330,000 miles and uh, we haven't driven every single one of them, but uh, what a great milestone for that van and we do pray that it will continue to do um, another, another 300,000. Now, I could tell you story after story after story about what God is doing in this country and abroad through many, many different missionary organisations. But we're here to talk about Pulse. Now, Pulse has done a fantastic job. We really believe 100% that we're in God's favour. We really believe that God is literally pointing us in the right direction. And we're asking for your prayers. We're asking that, that you would... Um, Ask God to guide us in exactly the right way. Now we know that Christmas is a time of giving gifts and receiving gifts and remembering Jesus. But at this time we, we just want to remember some of you guys. Now the Pulse family isn't just myself, Amy, Joe, Emma and Jodie. It extends far beyond that. We have our council of reference. They're a fantastic bunch of people who give us really sound wisdom. 
We've also got a, a massive army of interns. They come away with us on a regular basis and they give up their time and energy so that God's kingdom can be enlarged and equipped. Now as we come to this Christmas period, we just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything that anyone has done. We literally have people all over the globe who are inputting into Pulse. We have people from Tanzania, we have people from um, New Zealand, South Africa, England, Wales, Scotland. We have people in France and Geneva and Switzerland. You know, God does incredible things in linking all, all of us together. His kingdom is not just Pulse, his kingdom is his kingdom. So anyway, I've waffled on long enough now. It leaves me just great pleasure to, uh, to again say thank you for everyone who supported us in any way. But to say a massive Merry Christmas, uh, have a great 2012, and may together we reach more people for his kingdom.